I'd like to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Harakakwadash. I would also like to give a double honor unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that have taught me this truth. And I would also like to say sincere Shalom unto the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four winds of the earth, unto the servants, the prophets, the men that are prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine. Unto you, I say Shalom. Confusion, deception, and division. All right, and that's what's taking place right now with Babylon, America. All right, the people are going to be in a more confused state as leading up to this so-called election because we know that these presidents, these uh, officials are selected, not e elected, but it's going to breed confusion along with deception, okay, where the people are going to be deceived like they once were before with, with, with Obama. OK, the same thing with, you know, they're going to try to prop Kamala Harris up in this position, um, which is going to bring confusion also, because the scriptures speak of women usurping authority over men, which is off. All right. You got a lot of off shit out here that's going on that is putting pushing more confusion out there amongst the people, mainly our people. All right. This Kamala Harris being propped up. This is going to this is a device to confuse our people. All right, oh, she's black, so I'm going to vote for her. You Israelites shouldn't be voting at all, okay? You shouldn't even be partaking in this uh, so-called democracy. That with the, if that's, what, you know, that's what they're calling it. But our people shouldn't be involved in none of this folly, none of this bullshit, all right? In division, this is going to further divide the country, the ver further divide this two-party system, all right? It's already divided, okay? the part it, Within the party, it's divided, okay? Within the Democrats, they're divided. Within the Republicans, they're divided. So it's going to bring a greater divide amongst this nation, amongst Babylon, amongst America, which is ultimately going to lead to the downfall of this place. Okay? Because, you know, this is, hey, the scriptures say this is, this is Babylon the Great. Okay? Babylon, which the word Babel goes back, Babylon, goes, which goes back to the word Babal, which means confusion. All right? Our people are confused more than ever. All right? Because... First and foremost, they, 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 they've gone further and further away from their power, all right? The name of the Heavenly Father, the name of His Son, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, all right? They've gone further and further away from these laws, statutes, and commandments uh, of the Bible that are, 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 a, um, are a, um, a way, a, 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 a righteous way for Israelites to conduct themselves in this world in a, in a righteous manner amongst themselves and, and you know, and their brethren. All right. Now, the, our people are, you know, all these devices or everything that's going on is it's going to deceive the masses. But mainly the main purpose is to deceive our people, deceive Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Get our people in a, in a um, you know, uh, 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 to go out there and vote and be patriotic in just in all it's really doing is just warming you up. All right. Conditioning your minds to accept this new world order. All right. And they're using this lady. OK, this demon, uh, Kamala Harris, to do it. It's Hosea four and uh, six. My my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because they have rejected knowledge. I also reject thee and thou shall and thou shall be no priest to me, seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy power. I also I will also forget thy children. Our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, the true knowledge. The true knowledge comes from the scriptures. All right, but our people are in a completely confused state right now. All right, these niggas is wondering who to vote for. All right, and you saw how dumb Jake is, man. You know, uh, um, they go out. You know, he got so many millions of dollars. Uh, you know, donated to the Democratic. Um, you know, her, the Kamala Harris party or whatever. All right, this is nothing more than a, 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 a um, a, um. A device to distract you, Jake's, you Israelites. What the hell is really going on? What this devil really has in store for you? All right, it's it's nothing but a distraction. They, you know, uh, um, to to prop this prop this lady up. All right, and when you hear her talk, she just she just just says anything. All right, and and really has no context. It's but it's not even about her. It's about you, Jake's man. It's about you niggas that go out there and continue to believe and trust in this oppressive ass system. All right, this system is not for us. This system has, has, has never been for us. It's never, um, our people have never truly prospered here, okay? You, you in, 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 you know, um, 
uh, uh, fame and money and fortune. That's not real. That's not real prosperity because those things can be taken from you. Those things can. Those things aren't forever. All right. You know, nothing in this world is is is. Um, you, you, our people don't possess anything truly in this world where it can't be taken from them. All right. We're the the the, the true believers of the Lord. True believers of Yahweh Hashem are seeking for new heavens and a new earth, wherein dwell their uh, where it says uh, it says uh, where there dwells righteousness. Okay, where where we'll we we'll have our own sovereignty. All right, we won't be under any rule of anyone. Are we? Yeah, we'll be under the rule of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua. That's the righteous rule. That's the proper order. All right, so let me get this. Micah two and ten. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. All right, this this whole setup that we're living in, like this whole um, this system. All right, it, it's a, an oppressive system that our people are that our people that continue to trust and believe in this system is like you just running in quicksand. You get you think you're getting somewhere, but you're not going nowhere. All right, you, the faster you run, you think you're getting somewhere. The, the, in, in in essence, the more you think feel that you're uh, succeeding in society, you're progressing. You're not going nowhere, okay? Because it's really not of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. It's not of the Lord, all right? Um, I want to grab another scripture. It's First Timothy. It's the first, yeah, first Timothy. Because I spoke of confusion, all right? And what Kamala Harris is doing, and she's doing bringing nothing but confusion, what these Edomites, they want to push confusion out there in the world, mainly unto our people, all right? Having women rule over men. This is First uh, Timothy 2 and 12. It, it reads, but I suffer not a woman to teach nor assert authority over the man, but to be in silence. All right, let's see what this says in different um, the different Bibles. The NIV, I do not permit a woman to teach nor to assume authority over a man. She must be quiet. All right, or have authority. I mean, basically, everyone, everything is going to say the same thing. The NAS, 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 NASB 20, I... But I do not allow women to teach nor to exercise authority over a man, but to remain quiet. And what this is doing, propping this woman up, she, I don't think she's going to win. I don't hope she wins because if she wins the election, that's going to bring the destruction of Babylon, America faster. Because these other nations, mainly Putin, Xi, uh, 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 the um, Kim Jong Uns, they're not about to. They're not about to bow down to her. Okay. And and I, and I believe that's this. If she gets elected, that's gonna that's gonna fast forward this this. this the, it's gonna fast fast forward a few things. Definitely World War Three, but also the New World Order. All right, because she's gonna do the same thing he was gonna do. Biden was gonna do. Okay, they just put a new face up there, uh, a new fresh face to deceive you niggas. Okay, um, let me grab this. You know, because, you know, it's, this is bringing nothing, like I said, keep saying, it's not bringing nothing but confusion and deception. And that's one of the devil's main tactics is to use deception, to deceive, okay, to deceive your mind, to make you believe that, um, you know, to make you believe something that's not there, to give you this false hope, all right, that, you know, the prophets, we see that America is falling, all right, but they put a new face and, and say jobs are being created, give you a, a, a um, you know, you know, Esau is all about false hope. Give, you know, man, like I say, our people, Israelites, the ones at the bottom, some type of hope that, uh, that they have a future in this place. That, you know, you too can live the American dream. You could buy a house and, you know, and, and, and all that's bullshit. All right. That, that's the deception that, that Esau has used to deceive the world. All right. That, that's a part of it. Okay, um, damn, um, let me see, uh, should I have a bunch of things lined up? Um, yeah, I'll grab this, 2nd Ezra uh, 6, and uh, verse 27. For evil shall be put out, and deceit shall be quenched, as for faith it shall flourish, corruption shall be overcome, all right? Uh, and the truth which has been so long without fruit shall be declared. All right, said deceit shall be quenched. All right, so the elect won't be deceived by the the devices of Esau. Won't be deceived by uh, you know 
the whole go out and vote and uh you know um all the bullshit all the rhetoric they bring up every four years to try to deceive our people why does the black vote count so much okay you know you know the the, the black vote is like always the thing okay well, we got to get the black vote all right the and that show that should be a uh that should you know a light bulb should go off in you jake's heads like damn all right you know every four years they're trying to you know force jake to go out there and vote the black vote the black vote all right you gotta we gotta attack this demographic of people and it's always you jake's you so-called negroes latinos and native american that's part of the devil's but that's saying that's part of the devil's deception to these big these jakes not these jakes these Edomites, these devils want to make you Jake's feel like you belong. All right. And you're going to, hey, they're going to, they're going to make like you, make you feel like you belong right into them lines to get that, to get that MOTB. Um, so like, yeah, uh, let me grab this. I spoke on division because this is going to be a, man, this is, if she be, obviously she's going to become the nominee. This is going to be, bring a, even a greater divide amongst the american people all right and the scriptures speak of that the scriptures uh, uh uh speak of you know great division great confusion all over um this is mark 3 and 20 23 and he called unto them and said unto them in parables how can satan cast out satan and if a kingdom be divided against itself that kingdom cannot stand and if a house be divided against itself that house cannot stand and if satan rise up against satan and be divided, he should, he cannot stand it, but have an end, all right, so this place is clearly divided, all right, I, I believe one of these verses in these different translations said, if a kingdom be divided by civil war, it might be in the NLT, let me see what it says in this GNT real quick, uh, Matthew, um, but eventually this is going to bring civil war, whether Trump wins or not, okay, it's going to bring it's going to bring forth uh, uh, calamities. All right, like I said, this place is divided by it's divided by so many things. All right, but it's going to bring um, you know it's just you're, with putting Kamala Harris in office or even a candidate. It's just adding fuel to the fire of uh, of the people's um, you know these people are already on edge. All right. Let me see, uh, what was it, 20, y'all read 24. If a country divides itself into groups which fight each other, that country will fall apart. And that's what this whole bipartisan system is, okay? Where it says, uh, Revelations 13, um, didn't like, this is the wrong, we always go, the apostles, elders, brothers always go into how this, we know this is the fourth beast, all right, the Roman empire reincarnated in what you have babylon okay um the little horn that grew from uh you know uh um that grew out of the uh the fourth beast all right this is revelations 13 and 11 the beast from the earth and beheld another beast coming up out of the earth it had two horns like a lamb and he spoke as a dragon that two horns represent the um um the bipartisan system the the uh the um the republicans and democrats in the ancient world or in the Ro and during the romans when they ruled it was the uh Plebe plebeians and the patricians the plebeians represented the um would, would represent the democrats today and the patricians would represent the republicans okay and he exercised all the power of the first beast before him and caused the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed and that was america that was esau that deadly wound spoken of in uh, Revelations, the uh, 20th chapter, that was healed after that a thousand years. Okay, that, 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 um, you know, the first beast, you know, meaning uh, the, the Roman Empire, the fourth beast, that deadly heal was wound. And Esau came back into power through, uh, uh, you know, really by the hands of the Most High, but, you know, and, and he came back into power, you know, after being put down a thousand years. All right, the, the time where they, you know, during that after the uh the dark ages the middle ages or you know however you want to call them and during the renaissance period around the 1400s that's when they came back into power all right that's that deadly wound being healed and it says here and uh i'll get it i'll jump over to revelations 20 how they went out and deceived the world all right uh shit. 
I'll start uh I'll start two. Revelation twenty and two. And he's and he laid hold on the dragon, the old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, bound him a thousand years, and cast him into the bottomless pit, and shut him up, and set a seal upon him that he should not deceive the nations no more till a thousand years should be fulfilled, and after that he must be loosed a little season. And we're in that period, not time that time period now, where he is has been loosed a little season. Let me jump down to uh here it is Satan. Let me see. Uh where it says deceived. Let me see. Mm. Oh God is sorry, I I'll go seven. And when the thousand years were expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison and shall go out to the go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog together, them together to battle, the number of whom is as the sand of the sea. So the first part of the eighth verse, it says he was loosed out of the prison, or actually the seventh verse, which he was out of the prison when Satan, Esau, came back into power. And he says, he'll go out and deceive the nations. And how did he deceive the nations? First by telling the world that he was the Most High, or the Most High was the so-called white man. His son was the so-called white man. All right, he he and he deceived the world. He told he told the world that he was the JEWs, okay, and and you know deceived the world with like I said the images through iconoclasm, okay, through taking away history, okay, putting his like I said putting his face and his image in the images of our people Israelites and said he like and said they were the people of the Lord, okay, and he deceived the nations through you know several different devices pseudo sciences. Um, uh, uh, like I said, falsifying history, falsifying documents, all right, falsing, f falsifying uh, um, uh, 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 nationalities. Okay, he he did it all by deceiving the nation, and and there's a great deception uh, going on right now. This is because es this is Esau's last hurrah, his last you know chance to uh, uh, try to fulfill uh, their new world order. All right, try to to uh, uh, supplant Jacob in the end, but. We know through prophecy it's not going to happen, all right? Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. So this is the end of Esau's world, and we're living in it, all right, where it's going to be great confusion, great deception, and great division amongst the nations, amongst the world, all right? Um, let's see. Uh, let me grab this second Ezra's. Um I'm grabbing in the GNT Bible. Um, this is book of Second Ezra, chapter uh, fifteen. Let me see. Chapter fifteen. Let me see. So I get... Somewhere. No, Sam, some let me see. Book is I'll type it in. Here it is, here it is. First magazine. Where is it? I see survival. Maybe it's not in here. Um, maybe I'm looking right at it. I'll just get it in the. In, in, I'll get it in the. Um, I'll get it in the uh, KJV. Let's see, Second Ezra is uh, fifteen, and this is the part. This is part of the division that's coming. It says, "Woe to them that dwell therein, and for the sword and the destruction draw off nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands." All right, I'm gonna read. Actually, I got it on paper. I'm gonna just read it real quick. It says, "The world and the." See, this is starting at the 14th of the world and the people in it are doomed 
The war that will bring their destruction is very near. Nation will arm, nations will arm themselves and fight against other nations. There will be great political turmoil with one group trying to overpower a, a, another and gain control while ignoring the legitimate government terror in total conf actually yeah yeah the legit legitimate government there will no longer be a free access to cities because the struggle for power will bring destruction terrors and total confusion wherever people live all right that's the confusion that's the destruction that's the deception all these things go hand in hand with the end of of Esau's kingdom okay let me find that. I want to uh, put it right here. So, you know. Let me see. Don't worry, I can't find it. But, you know, hey, we're living in these times. All right. We're living in these times where. Hey, you have to be circumspect and understand the times that we're living in and don't be caught out there thinking that everything is just status quo. This is how, this is how everything is going to be. It's not. All right. Things are going to get worse and they're steadily getting worse. And they're going to they're going to they're going to play on the minds of our people. But to, if she makes gets in the office or not, that this is a new beginning it's a fresh face. It's the same. It's, they're just the same same devils behind the street, behind the scenes, pulling the strings. OK. And, and, and manipulating your minds and making you really believe that America, Babylon, this system is set up for you Israelites and it's not. All right. It's going to destroy you. And it's, it's you know, and it's all in, it's, it's really all in the hands of your high boss, you at the end of the day, man. So you Israelites, man, you better wake the hell up, man. And understand that this place is not our rest. This place is, is going to destroy you. All right. And, and, you know, a lot of the, a lot of our people love their life, their love. They really they love Esau more more than the Most High, okay? Because they lack faith. All right, the scriptures say faith. The, the land is going to be barren of faith in the last days. All right, the scripture says. Uh, I grab this. This is uh, Second Ezra five and one. Nevertheless, as coming the tokens, the tokens represent the prophecies. Behold, the days shall come that they which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in great number. And the way of truth shall be hidden. Okay, that, that's just truth. All right, when the family of the world come, the way of real truth is really hidden right now. The only ones that are able to understand and receive it are the elect. Okay, those that have been, uh, you know, many have been called, but few have been chosen. Those chosen ones will be the ones that, you know, ultimately receive salvation. But a lot of Jake's out there called, all right, but they may not be chosen. Okay, because that 100% truth is hid from a lot of Jake's. All right, all right, or their, their pride won't you know won't allow them to receive the 100 percent truth all right uh and the land shall be barren of faith it's a lot of our people really lack faith okay our people wait to the last minute to you know to, to put their faith in the lord the scripture said in uh, deuteronomy 32 um and um 32 yeah 32 and 20 he said i will hide my face from them I will see what their end shall be, for they are a very forward generation, children in whom is no faith. All right. So that that's been a trait of our people, you know, for the longest. All right. Except for the elect or except for those that, you know, have returned unto the Lord and are humble and, and, and you know, begin to um, begin to uh, repent and, and, and show repentance and, you know, and, and show their works by their faith. Show that they, you know, that they, they really believe not with, not with, not with words, but ultimately with their actions. All right. So I don't want to go too long. I just, you know, just show my spirit that, you know, I see this, you know, social media and media, this, 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 this bugged out lady keeps popping up and, you know, this, she's not going to do, but do nothing, but be a device to, uh, you know, for Esau to use. All right. How does, you know, <laughs> If you look at her story and how she came up in politics, you, 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 man, this is, this is, this is like a damn movie. Like, you know, straight out of a goddamn Hollywood script, you know, all of a sudden she's lady is about to run for president and she was, you know, uh, 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 um, what was she, a, a attorney, you know, she kind of, you know, hold her way through a, a law school and, you know, 
messing with this nigga, messing with this. She been passed around through 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 white through uh, uh, um, the White House or not the White House through through you know through from this this nigga to this nigga to Esau. To, but this is y'all president. This is all Jake believe in. This is Jake will go out there and fight you because you say something about this lady. And I don't even think she's a Jake, man, at the end of the day. But like I said, this is going to bring confusion, deception, and more division. All right? But, hey, this is this prophecy. So, hey, you know, hey, we look forward to this election. We look forward to the build-up to this election because it's, it, it possibly could get bloody. It possibly can lead to uh, 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 Jacob's trouble and lead to more calamities on Babylon. So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the elect. And I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Harakakwadash, Shalom.